The question is evaluate the value of the integration of the function sin inverse x whole square with respect to x. Now to solve this question, first of all, on observing this function, I see that we have been given basically a one function, sin inverse x whole square. Okay, and to integrate this function, we do not have any direct formula. But we can solve this question by applying the formula of integration by parts. And it, and this is done in a very tricky manner. And the trick is here is this that we are going to take sin inverse x whole square as the product of sin inverse x whole square and 1. So 1 can be considered as an algebraic function because 1 can be written as x to the power of 0. And this is a inverse trigonometrical function. Okay. So we are going to apply the formula of integration by part between them that is sin inverse x whole square and 1 to solve this question. Now this is the formula of integration by or uh, integration by parts for reference. So this can be written so applying the formula this expression can be written as sin inverse x whole square into integration of 1 that is first function into integration of second function got it differentiation of sin inverse of x whole square into integration of 1 and the integration of further the product okay now integration of 1 is x so we are going to write in both these places x and differentiation of sine inverse of x whole square so this is going to be done by chain rule of differentiation this will be equal to 2 sine inverse x into differentiation of sine inverse x that is that will be equal to 2 sine inverse x into 1 upon square root of 1 minus x square. Okay, so we are going to obtain on simplification we are going to we can write this as sine inverse of x whole square into x and you see differentiation of uh, sine inverse x whole square is equal to 2 sine inverse x into differentiation of sine inverse x which is 1 upon square root of 1 minus x square and integration of 1 is x. So now we have to integrate this term to obtain our answer. So again on observing this expression we find that it is a product of two function. One is inverse trigonometrical function that is sine inverse x and second function can be taken as x upon square root of 1 minus x squared that is the algebraic function. Okay so I can write this as this term as x into sine inverse of x whole square okay further I've taken uh, this minus sign also with this algebraic expression so I can write here plus sign and here minus 2x upon square root of 1 minus x square and the sine inverse x as the first function so we are going to integrate now these two functions or, or the product of these two functions by applying the formula of integration by parts again okay so let us see how we are going to do it so this term as it is and here we are going to apply the formula so this will be equal to sine inverse x into integration of minus 2x upon square root of 1 minus x square minus d upon dx of sine inverse x into integration of minus 2x upon square root of 1 minus x square dx and further integration of the product okay so to solve this question further we have to integrate uh, the most uh, or the deciding part to further solving the question is to integration of this term that is integration of minus 2x upon square root of 1 minus x square dx okay and differentiation of sine inverse x can be written as 1 upon square root of 1 minus x square so I don't have any problem for this differentiation so let us see how I'm going to differentiate uh, I'm going to integrate this minus 2x upon square root of 1 minus x square. Now to integrate minus 2x upon square root of 1 minus x square with respect to x I substitute 1 minus x square is equal to t on differentiating both sides with respect to x I get uh, this as minus 2x dx is equal to dt. So what I'm going to do I am going to 
place minus 2x dx is equal to dt and 1 minus x square I'm going to place t so I'm going to get this as equal to integration of dt upon square root of t. This t can be written as t to the power of minus 1 by 2 and on integration t to the power of minus 1 by 2 by applying the formula of integration of x to the power of n that is x to the power of n plus 1 upon n plus 1 I'm going to get this as t to the power of 1 by 2 upon 1 by 2 that is 2 into t to the power of 1 by 2 or 2 into square root of t placing t as equal to 1 minus x square I'm going to get this as 2 into square root of 1 minus x square okay so I'm going to place these values 2 into square root of 1 minus x square here and here okay so I'm going to obtain this as equal to x sine inverse x whole square plus sine inverse of x into 2 times square root of 1 minus x square minus differentiation of uh, sine inverse x was 1 upon square root of 1 minus x square and 2 into square root of 1 minus x square so you can see these two terms cancels out so I can write this as x sine inverse x uh, sine inverse x whole square plus 2 into square root of 1 minus x square sine inverse x minus 2 dx okay so this will simply become 2x and which is my required answer so this is how we are going to solve this question thank you please support us by subscribing to our channel by liking this video and giving your comment for the video